cash accounting definitely does help small businesses, particularly businesses that have to wait a long time to get paid and have to pay their suppliers quickly. Without any question, those are the sorts of businesses that are going to benefit most from cash accounting. But what's very interesting is the government of having a consultation uh, document produced with regards to simplified accounting for micro entities. A micro entity is a business that turns over less than £580,000, €700,000. And for those businesses who go on to cash accounting, they'll be able to produce their accounts in exactly the same way as they prepare VAT returns under cash accounting. So it'll be much more simplified and be very, very helpful to those types of businesses. I think cash accounting is, is fundamentally a good thing, especially for simple businesses. But I do have some reservations uh, because some small businesses like to invest money in, say, a car or some equipment. And if they do, they're not going to be able to get any tax deduction on that fixed asset because there's no capital allowances. And also, if they borrowed the money to buy the asset, they can only claim up to £500 in terms of the interest that they can get relief for. So I think it will stop smaller businesses perhaps from growing as much as they otherwise would have done through not getting tax relief on investment. Um, obviously, if they do grow, you've got the flexibility that the upper limit of £77,000, you can go all the way through to 150000 before you can stop doing cash accounting, so that's good. But I can see it having uh, a limiting effect on the growth of small businesses, and therefore, although it's deregulatory, I'm not 100% in favour. Obviously, it doesn't help businesses that fall within the, the bracket between £580,000 and £1,350,000, £1,350,000 being the top limit for cash accounting, because those businesses will be preparing their VAT returns under cash accounting on a receipts and payments basis, but in producing their annual accounts, they're going to have to go back to the accruals basis. So the businesses themselves and their accountants will have to be on the ball to make sure that the accounting is dealt with spot on in, in, in ensuring that their annual accounts are correct even though they're preparing VAT returns on a cash accounting basis. Cash accounting will definitely make life simpler for some small, very small businesses with a simple business model of cash in, cash out. Where however they have uh, a credit, they give or take credit, such as they have debtors and creditors on their balance sheet or they employ fixed assets, uh, they'll need to think more carefully whether cash accountant is appropriate for, for them. From April 2013, self-employed businesses can make, uh, provided their, their turnover is less than 79,000, they can make returns to HMRC based on cash accounting. But there are some specific rules regarding use of motor vehicles within the business, regarding use of a house as a, in a business uh, and the sale of fixed assets, as well as some uh, transitional arrangements that need to be taken account of. But there are three main uh, other areas for consideration. Firstly, they need to think about uh, finance. If they're going to access finance, the attitude of the banks to cash accounting has not been made clear yet. Um, they may, may not accept credit applications supported by cash accounting. Secondly, cash accounting takes the business owner's attention away from key performance indicators such as turnover, gross margin, overheads, profit. And finally, with the introduction of universal credit starting in October 2013, people claiming benefits such as working tax credit, child tax credit, or housing benefit must use cash accounting if their turnover is below 158,000. So use of cash accounting takes some consideration. It will be appropriate for many businesses, but certainly not all.